Good morning, everybody. The cuckoo's out. I think it might be in that tree. Isn't that just delightful? <laughs> so welcome back to French Countryside Life. Good to see you back. Um, first off, the cat. So I booked a, uh, an appointment at the vet and um, on Tuesday uh, the cat was walking around outside and um, saw some hares out in the field opposite and just kind of wandered off and uh, we haven't seen her back since so I think she's, she's either gone home or she's found some other muppets to feed her. So, um, so I went to phone the vet and uh, cancel the appointment. So she's disparu. So, so that's that really. Anyway, bit of a difference this week. Something a bit different. AJ from AJ in France sent me some French army rations. You can see those there. So, I'll just open them up and uh, we'll have a look and see what it's all about. It's in a waterproof container. So, this says uh, food for commandos, ration. Ration food for an adult 24 hours. Uh, Pomentia du canard, which is, uh, Pomentia is, um, I don't know if you have it in the in the US, but it's uh, shepherd's pie. So it's, um, it's meat that will have uh, potatoes on top. And then salad, salad Italian, fried, that's cold. So that's cold Italian salad. Rillettes du pork, now rillettes, um, is a way of cooking meat slowly covered in fat. So you get a piece of meat, um, you cover it in fat and you cook it low and slow for a long time um, and then keep it covered in fat and that preserves it. So not really looking forward to that one. But then we've got cheese or dessert, salty biscuits and sugar biscuits, uh, Brussels on short, so it's uh, hot drinks, cafe tea or chocolate, uh, muesli, isotonic drink, nougat or nugget, where I'm from, uh, pate de fruits, energy bars, uh, chocolate, oh, uh, chewy chocolate, chocolate to chew, um, jam. Serviettes and a heater, matches, and um, uh, toothpicks, water purification, and a uh, rubbish sack. So let's open it up and take a look. So, first out of the pack. Got muesli, chocolate muesli. Uh, 
This looks like the drinks here. So we've got cafe, that's coffee. And cocoa. So that's hot chocolate. Nice. Uh, chewy chocolate. Chocolate here, but, um, so uh, chocolate from um, cocoa butter. So it's um, noir, which is um, dark chocolate, 70%. Okay, so this is the uh, roulette's pot pork. So, as I said, it's uh, cooked in fat and uh, stored in fat. So that'll be something to look forward to. Parmentier du canard, which is uh, duck parmentier, uh, with a little smiley French chef on it, look at that. Okay. Ingredients, puree de pommes de terre. So it's a uh, puree of Potatoes. All right, that'd be interesting. Oh, so this is the, the little heater to heat the food up. Heating kit. Isbit. That's the original, apparently. Biscuits. These look like they've been kicked around the playground, but uh, St. George's Army Biscuits of the country, the Campania. Blue, blue white heart. That must be the uh, the make. Eight sachets of two biscuits, or eight bags of two biscuits. It's in English as well. Okay, salted biscuits, sweet biscuits with cereals, biscuits with chocolate. There she go. Uh, energy bar. Uh, flavor of red fruits. Good. Put that with that one. Fromage fondue a blue. So I guess that is, uh, well it's obviously cheese or something. Fromage fondue. A cheese spread maybe? Don't know, have a look at that. So, uh, pack of tissues. That's nice. Oh, jam. I think in America, I think you call it jelly. Yeah, it's funny, that, isn't it? It's uh, in France, it's confiture, uh, but in um, in America, jelly. In the UK, jam. It's pl uh, plum. Yeah, plum flavored jam. That sounds nice. And we've got soup. Thai soup. Okay, that's exotic. Good. Then we've got Italian salad with the one thing I don't like, olives. Perfect. So, um, see how we go with it. Andre, if I can eat sausages that have come up from a pig's bum, I can certainly eat a few on these, can't I? All right, put it over there. All right, well, that's everything now. Uh, I'd like to thank, once again, AJ from AJ in France. I'll put a link in the description to AJ's channel. Get over there and get subscribed. He's, uh, he has some really interesting stuff. Brilliant. I really enjoy watching his channel. So, it is one o'clock. So, um, for the next 24 hours, this is all I'm going to be eating. So, by one o'clock tomorrow, this will all be gone. Doesn't seem a lot, does it? Well, it's, it is, just looking on the pack, 3,600 calories. Now, I should, my recommended intake is 2,400. So, that's another 1,000 calories. But keep in mind, this is for, for young men running around carrying stuff and running up down hills and stuff. So um, we'll certainly burn the extra calories. So um, 
Let's have a bar. Should we have a bar? Which bar should we have? Um, what about a pate? Pate de fruit. Give that a go. Oh, it's dark. Oh, okay, it's like a like a sugary sort of surface to it, isn't it? Hmm. All right, here we go. Hmm, like a like a fruit jelly. Hmm. All right. So I will cook the um, these two items, the parmentier, eh? the canard, and the Italian salad. Um, I'll cook these two items um, outside because I don't want to set fire to the house. That'd be bad. Good. All right, so I'll see you outside. So let's get cooking. We've got our Parmentier du Canal, just here, with our fromage fondue. Got the Kelly kettle to, uh, to boil some water shortly. So I can have some coffee. Uh, yeah, let's get cracking. All right, we'll get the water on. Right, so I've lit my Kelly kettle. So that's uh, cooking away there, lovely. Warming up my water. So let's get this, uh, these little fuel uh, cells here. Get one of those there, stick that in there. And uh, this lit, hopefully. Yeah, I think that's lit. So I'll just break the top. Stick that on there. Right. Let's take this off.
So let's have a look at this. What do you make of that? That's not nice. Really cheesy. Probably art on crackers. Yeah, not so nice on its own. Come back to that one. Whew. So I'm gonna try some of these biscuits. We've got the uh, salty ones, I think. Yeah, they look pretty salty. Try that. There's your answer. Put the cheese on the biscuit. And it's not too bad. Hmm. So this is the Palmentier du Canard, which is duck with potato. There we go. You know what, that's actually not bad. The duck's nice. Yeah, I'd eat that all day long. What's up? Cheers, everyone. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so it's the evening. It's uh, just looking at the clock, quarter past eight. Uh, not hungry, really. Uh, there's plenty of food in that uh, way I had earlier. So that's good. So, I'm gonna make some hot chocolate shortly and with some biscuits. And uh, I've got some nugget, fruit nugget that's uh, Jane wants to try as well, but she can't. So there. <laughs> uh, an energy bar. And last thing tonight, cup of tea. 
So tomorrow, tomorrow morning, plan is um, muesli. I couldn't work out um, how you make muesli without milk, but uh, it's got skim milk powder in it. So you just put water in it, give it a shake up, and then uh, that's your that's your muesli and milk. Um, uh, coffee biscuits some water and um, some isotonic drink tomorrow an energy bar oh 70 percent chocolate don't want to be having any of that because i don't like dark chocolate so that would be then for dinner or lunch i should say uh, it will be um thai soup some jam on chocolate biscuits some of this pork roulettes with the biscuits, more biscuits. And then um, the uh, Italian salad, uh, with some salt pepper. So that's for tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and make me hot chocolate. So I just made the hot chocolate. Um, it's quite dark, I don't think, can't really see that, but it's, it's actually quite a dark, Hot chocolate, you can see that. But, uh, oh, it's nice though, it's tasty. Got chocolate biscuits. A lot of chocolate. These are hard as your head. Dip them in the hot chocolate. Um, right, so I've got the energy bar. Bedouin. Bedouin energy bar. Energy savoir fruit rouge. Have a taste of that. See what we think of that. Oh, hello. Let's that. It's, uh, oh. it's like bubble gum. Remember the old hubba bubba? Bubba Bubba Bubble Gum. Looks like that. Well, it doesn't taste like it. Yeah, we'll come back to that one. Um, not much of a taste to it, really. Mm. This is the fruit nugget. Nugget O Fruits. Well, that looks quite nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's nice. Hmm. That's it, it's really nice. Me hot chocolate and rock hard biscuits. So I'll finish this off in a moment and um, I have my tea before bed and um, I'll see you tomorrow. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> so good morning everyone. It is Saturday morning. Breakfast. Um, am I hungry? Yeah, I'm a little bit hungry, but um, we've got Voyager. Taste taste of extreme, apparently. Good extreme. 
muesli with chocolate. Uh, with fast intense hydration isotonic sport drink. So that's going to go in there. So first thing is put this in the bowl. Now apparently there's skim milk in this or skim milk powder. So you don't need milk. It looks like chocolate, chocolate milk. 100 ml of water. A little bit of a stir up. Not sure whether it looks like a chocolate treat or a muddy puddle. Can't work it out. So, mm, chocolatey. So just leave that for a minute while I do this. God, I can smell it from here. There we go. I'm gonna pour this in here. And it's not all gonna fizz out. Stick the lid up. Well, that just looks like a sample that you should take to the doctor. No. It's got sugar in the bottom. Or salt, could be salt. No. Alright, try that in a minute. So, chocolate muesli time, taste extreme. It's not bad. It's actually not bad. Chocolatey. What can you say about muesli? Del Boy on um, Only Falls and Orbs used to say, it looks like the sweepings from the bottom of a parrot cage. That's the music. Let's taste the drink. I suppose it's uh, mangoey. That's not bad, actually. Not bad. So, I'll finish my breakfast and. Uh, Crack on with the day. We got um, got some biscuits to eat later. Lots of biscuits. Lots of biscuits. Um, the uh, got some jam for the biscuits and some uh, roulettes that we talked about earlier. Not looking forward to that. Italian salad with olives, but uh, don't have to eat the olives. And um, yeah. Another couple of bars to eat. And some coffee and some soup. So, looking forward to the day's nutrition. So we've got the final part. Got a bit of soup. I uh, went and picked up some, um, a load of uh, wood that had been chopped probably three years ago. Uh, a load of beech. So I went and picked that up and uh, brought it back, chainsawed it up into uh, usable bits to fit on the log burner, uh, did a little bit of fishing. So, um, yeah, I've had a busy morning, so worked up a little bit of an appetite, so I guess we'll see. Anyway, soup, I've got some hot water in here, so we'll see how this is. So this is potage thai. Okay. 
Oh, it's got noodles. It's got noodles. A little stir up. Okay, show you that. Can you see that? I think, you, oh, I think you can. Okay, so we've got that. And we've got that Italian salad. Open that up. Okay. A bit of pepper on this, I think. Okay, what do you think of that? Oop, put it around the ends. Hmm, well, actually, that's not bad. We've got the, the rillet. So I'm just open that. Oh yeah, yeah, not so sure about that one. All right, we'll try it on a biscuit. I'll risk it for a biscuit. Okay, here we go. Not a very strong taste. It's not bad. Mm. Yeah, it's actually not bad. Surprisingly, surprisingly good. Well, I was wrong about that. Yeah. Right, try me soup. Cup O soup. Big tractor just turned up in the field behind us. That's not bad. Right. Let's try this. So it's pasta with uh, like lardons, I guess. Yeah, lardons. Yeah. Quite spicy. Oh, those large ones are nice. Mm. Well, let's get the jam. To another biscuit. Plum jam, nice. It's 
So this is the um, ISO star cereal bar with caffeine. Hmm. Like a little flapjack. No, it's okay. It tastes of coffee. Mmm, really tastes of coffee. And finally, the 70% 70, the 70 chocolate. Just ordinary chocolate, really, it seems. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing special. Bella's there, she can smell the food. <laughs> Well, to sum up the whole experience, I'd say that the French soldiers have got a good deal. Um, the biscuits are really hard. I actually, they actually hurt the roof of my mouth <laughs> last night where I was eating the biscuits. But, um, as I say, overall, I think uh, the French soldiers got a good deal, lots of taste. Um, that little fruit bar wasn't great, but um, overall, as I say, lots of taste, lots of flavour. Uh, I'm very, very impressed. So, um, should I feel the urge to join the French military? Um, I won't go hungry. So, <clears throat> if you can, press the thumbs up to like the video, press the bell for notifications so that you know when there's a new video, and um, if you can think about subscribing, if you haven't subscribed already, that'd be great. And all that's left to say is mine, there you go, and I'll see you soon.